All right, continuing where we left off. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please just remember to hit that subscribe button. And uh, um, we've already had our first uh, part of um, uh, Nature of Roots. So I want us to take an example where we are now applying this principle. Right, let's take this one. Uh, they say find the discriminant in each case and state whether the roots are real or imaginary. If they are real, say whether they are rational or irrational, uh, and also whether they are equal or unequal. So essentially, they're just saying, uh, you know, state the nature of roots. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what did we say? We're going to find, in this case, the discriminant. So what is our A value? Remember, we always need to put it in standard form, uh, AX squared plus BX plus C. So it means our A value is 1, our B value is 5, and our C value is positive 6, right? Now, let's find the discriminant for this first one. So it's going to be B squared minus 4AC, right? So our B value is 5, that's going to be 5 squared minus 4 times. Our A value is 1, and our C value is 6 okay so that's going to be 25 right 5 squared is 25 minus uh, 4 times 1 that's 4 uh, times 6 that's going to be 24 right so that gives us the value of delta to be equal to 1 now so therefore what do we note first of all 1 is a positive number right so delta is greater than zero right so what does that say to us it is a real root okay so real roots okay or we can say roots are real okay uh, but also in this case, 1 is a perfect square, right? Uh, so, uh, delta is a perfect square. Okay, so we know that if it's a perfect square, then we know that we are going to um, get uh, equal root, uh, I mean, uh, rational roots, right? Um, so, they are rational so it means that in this case, we can write the number as a fraction, right? Uh, we said an integer over an integer, right? So we said you cannot take the square root of a negative number. If this number was negative, then we know that in that case, we couldn't plug it back into b squared minus 4. I mean, into the square root, underneath the square root, right? Uh, but we also note that, uh, you know, delta is actually greater than zero right I, I mean not greater than zero but delta is actually uh is not zero so delta is not zero actually i'm correct when i say uh, you know greater than zero so remember when delta is not zero it means that the roots in this case are unequal okay right remember i said to you when we've got uh, greater than zero uh, in that case, it means that uh, we've got uh, equal roots, right? When delta is zero. Right, now let's take the next one. Okay, so we've got 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. Okay, let's write it there. 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. Okay, which is equal to zero. Let's write that 2 properly. Okay. Right, and we are looking for uh, the value of delta. We said that's b squared minus 4ac. What is our a value? It's 2. Our b value is negative 3. And our c value is negative 2. So in this case, we've got b squared. That's negative 3 squared. Minus 4 times our a value is 2. And our C value is negative 2, right? So I've got 9, okay? So I've got there. 
4 multiplied negative 4 times 2, which will give me 8, right? And 8 times 2 will give me 16. But in this case, remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. So that will be 9 plus 16. And this will give us 25. Okay? So once again, what do we notice? We know that delta is greater than 0. Okay? So what does that tell us about roots? So we know that roots are real. So these are real roots. Remember, if we didn't have real roots, it would be imaginary. So it's when we get a negative there. But what do we note? We also note that uh, delta is a perfect square. So roots are rational. Right? So they're re rational because 25 is a perfect square, right? Got a perfect square. A perfect square. Okay, this is me being lazy to write. Okay, right. And finally, we know that delta is not zero. So in this case, it must be that roots are once again unequal. All right. So I hope that you understand that. Okay. Uh, what we will do uh, in the next segment is we are going to take some more complex examples uh, on this. Uh, applying this a little bit more.